My dad was always a saver. Save your money, stay at home, save your money. So that's what I did. I was actually 32 when I finally said, okay, I've made enough money, time to buy my own house, branch out and get on my own. 1991, I was 28 years old and opened up my first fan shop. The first 15 years basically has been building up the business and building inventory, sinking everything back into the business, not really drawing a large paycheck. While my friends are out having fun, I'm working and I'm saving. Instead of moving out, I end up you know, staying at home with my parents longer than I intended to. I was looking at it from the business is gonna be my savings account. Lots changed since then. You know, I'm able to put X amount of dollars away, contribute to my 401k the last few years, build a nice nest egg. I've been able to sock away enough money to save for retirement, save for my kids' education. Running this business, it's got its challenges. Every day there's constant change. New Jersey. Five years ago, when I moved to the much larger location, I reached a point where things just got too overwhelming for me. And um, at that point, I was about to walk away from the business. A manager that was with me for several years, he had another opportunity that came along. I was basically having to manage the store, find employees. The pressure really got bad to the point where I felt that I couldn't continue with the business, that it's just too overwhelming. Financially, I um, had to dip into my personal savings to keep the business afloat. You know, my wife helped me through it, and I was able to, to get past that. Found a, you know, a great person that was able to help me manage the store. It's been onwards and upwards since. When I look around, I just see what, I, what I've built here, and I feel like, you know, it was worth all the time, all that hard work has made me feel like I've really done something successful. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.